Throughout a project, you have to rig up every bed section two to three times before it actually gets installed. So it can be very frustrating if it takes five, 10 plus seconds to attach to a bed. So I've created several different rigging devices that take only one to three seconds to attach to a bed. Some that are safe for just short picks to pick a bed section off a pallet onto the floor and others that are safe for attaching when you're installing overhead. These are the simplest rigging hooks, if you can even call it that. It's a 5 16 hex wrench and uh, they just fit in the top of your 3 8 holes on your conveyor and turn 90 degrees. It has to be almost all the way down in order to slip out. This is for when you're picking up a conveyor just a short height to get it off a pallet onto the floor. You wouldn't use these to lift the bed sections overhead. These are really nice for when you got stuff on the sides like Easy Logic side frames. So you can't get anything else hooked up, but these will just pop right in the top. The oldest idea we used was a 90 degree bracket with replaceable 3 8 bolts. So you could just hook in and then put a nut on if you were lifting overhead. So you have the 6,000 pound rated rope and then you also have a bungee so that when you jump off the forklift and you're rigging up with one man, that bungee holds it in the hole. Here's a neat option for rigging up conveyor that has rollers on two inch centers. This pops down between the rollers, turns back 60 degrees, and then of course you have another one on the other side. And then you for sure capture that center of gravity on the bed so it holds it nice and level. Now that we've proven the concept, we'll see if a fabricator can make these bends. What I did for proof of concept was I took a one quarter of a piece of pipe with the correct inside diameter and welded it to a one inch plate here and then a three inch by one eighth inch plate here. So yes, those are welds. Scary. I probably wouldn't use this for overhead installs, especially since rollers could pop out of the frame, but for lifting short heights off the pallet, it works perfect. Here's a flat bracket that you would use four to rig up one straight bed section and this is designed for rollers on two inch centers so it would go down between the roller shafts pivot back at 60 degree angle and the problem is here you don't have that much space between the rollers and the frame so you might have to have this one here and then the next one offset a little bit to get the slop out of two different rollers and then pivots back out and comes out and then this size would be for rollers on three inch centers looks a little crazy doesn't it now a much safer option for lifting overhead is a couple of these on either side of the conveyor it just so it has this gap right here slides into the frame and then it locks down as your rigging comes up at a 60 degree angle so that flat bar goes between the rollers and it prevents it from sliding left or right and while you're rigging up, prevents it from sliding out again. Don't look at my welds. But then you got MHS C-shaped side frames. So I got this version, which we haven't tested out yet, but it would just slide up here on this lip, bend over 60 degrees, rig up there. Another idea my brother-in-law had was to use a door magnet, but if you're not using a half inch plate for the magnet to attach to, it's not strong enough to hold on to this eighth inch side frame. Thanks Milwaukee. Let's turn this on. You can see it only took a little bit of effort to lift it off. It's actually a little stronger on the rollers. Ugh. Come on buddy. Ugh. I was surprised because I thought that was going to be way weaker than this side frame, but it must be better because it's going across the width of the magnet. But um, I guess if you could make an electromagnet, that was actually the profile or the inverted profile of these rollers, that would be perfect. And of course, the safest option for when you're installing overhead would be an eyelet. If any of you have ideas on something universal that'll work on straight conveyor, curves, when rollers are on two inch centers, three inch centers, or whatever you run into, let me know. I mean, maybe one of you manufacturers out there already have a way of picking up every bed section easily and I'm trying to invent the wheel all over again right here. 